Welcome to The Fierce Life. Today's episode will be part two of our hunting trip to Spain after Ibex. In a previous episode, myself and Hughes took great animals. But today, it's the ladies' turn. Let's see if they can get it done. You're going to see Fontel and Melanie on an episode of Spain Talks. Okay? Okay. You see them? Yes, yes, I'm on. You ready? Okay. Yeah, I got it. You see them? 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 I don't think the snow is, uh, might prevent us from making that flight to Spain on time. And we're going 20 miles an hour right now. We planned to, we left plenty early this morning. It's a two hour drive to the airport, but we didn't leave early enough. It's a, it's a disaster up here. The winter has hit and hopefully, uh, we make it. So you can shoot your first Ibex. Oh yeah. One of the challenges when you hunt internationally is always the travel, whether it's the airport, flights on time, making sure your luggage gets there, fighting snow, weather, whatever it may be. It seems like every time I go on an international trip, we have these challenges. And today's hunt is no different. We end up to Spain, me and my wife, with no luggage whatsoever. Since the signal, they showed where you need to go. Well, after a battle to find our luggage, we finally made it to La Espadalla's hunting lodge. This place was fantastic. The accommodations were great, the staff was fantastic, and the food was incredible. We arrived late afternoon to the hunting lodge, so we had some time to go out scouting. We rode up above the lodge into the mountains, and man, there were ibex everywhere we looked. I could not believe the amount of animals. That's one thing about this trip, there was no shortage of game. There's ibex everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. And they look big to me all the time. <laughs> the gun steady enough to shoot one. I hope so. What are we hunting, <laughs> what are we hunting on this trip? Uh, Melanie and I, we're gonna use a Fierce Edge 300 with mag, and yourself and Fontel, it's gonna be a 300 short mag, CT Edge. The old CT Edge, 300 short, booyah. This is your third big game hunt? Yep. What else have you shot? I have shot a Axis Buck in Lanai, Hawaii, and a whitetail in nice. Texas. And you've shot, what have you shot, Molly? Moose. Moose, two times. Kudu, oh. and one deer. Yeah, whitetail. Uh -huh. So with those, with those kind of no, rifles, no. the fears, mm -hmm. you can choose any caliber because we have a very impressive uh, muzzle break with the carbon fiber stock, which uh, takes some recoil. And we have a high-end recoil pad from a limb saver. Yeah. So, like Melanie, she's a tiny girl. She can shoot with any Magnum caliber, and there's no problem. Doesn't bother. So we're very excited to be here in Spain, and in the morning we're going to get after it and see if we can get her done with the Fierce Firearm CT Edge, 300 short mag, and the 300 wind mag edge. Huh? Oh. Yes. Booyah! Booyah! <laughs> Fierce! <laughs> Oogs, you the spotter today? Yes. Okay. Yes. How do you feel I'm about done. That? I'm you're, done. You're ready. You, you shot two yesterday. Yes. 
too nice one so i'll give the chance to the girls today <laughs> good for you <laughs> you're such a gentleman <laughs> yes I can. You're going to see Fontel and Melanie on an episode of Spain Cops. Well, here we are. We're driving down the main highway and we see some Ibex right off the road. So we pull over to this rest stop area and are glassing Ibex and lo, lo and behold, the police show up. So I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. We're in trouble. But all they wanted to do was talk and check out our fierce rifles. So they've checked out our guns and now they're just talking to their, uh, they're going to talk to their police chief and see how many they can buy for their yes. department. Oh, yeah. I can't quite understand them, but I'm sure that's what they're talking about right now. Now that we've got the police taken care of, we can get back to hunting. It right on its front shoulder. Yeah. No. Oh, what? Wait for him to turn. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, we just, the uh, guys just spotted two great ibex. They spotted a big gold medal, giant ibex here in the rocks above us. And then a, another nice ram that we were after for Fontel. He set up on the rocks and we tried to get over here in a better position to get a shot. And the time we Time we got set up, he, he left the rock and was gone, so no go, huh? Nope. <laughs> what do you say, Ed? My backs were fast, eh? They're fast. Move yeah. quick. Move quick. We need to be quick. These girls are about to be fast. Yeah. And we need to be fast with the camera, and we need to be fast with the rifle. <laughs> yeah. We had stopped in a little village to eat lunch and we had barely left the village. We were going along the river and there's ibex everywhere coming up out of the river. And before we knew it, the guides were saying, get out, there's a shooter in there for Fontel. We get out of the vehicle, we sneak along the wall to where we could get a good rest and Fontel can make a shot at her ibex. But what we were hoping was that we could get a double here. There seemed to be several nice Ibex in this group, and so we were hoping that Fontel could both get a shot, and then we could get the rifle to Melanie, and she could get her done all at the same time. On our day, on the women's day to hunt, we went to a different area that we hadn't been before, and it was actually close to a village. And so we didn't really think that we were going to spot too many ibex, but um, not too far up the hill, the professional hunters um, motioned us. Here they are! Here they are! Melanie and Fontel both come out, so we both followed them up the uh, stone wall and got ourselves set and ready. Okay, I got him. You ready? Okay. okay, I got him. Just stop it. Stop it. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. Good yeah. shot. Good shot, Melanie. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, man. So as you saw, Fontel just made a great shot with her fierce rifle. Now, after the dust settles, it's Melanie's turn. Biggest, biggest one. It's two. You see yes. the two? Okay. Yes. 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 So up. It will be up. Okay, the tree, behind the tree. Okay, you see them? Take it, take it. Now they stop it. One. Okay. Okay. You see them? Yes, you yes. Come on. Yeah. 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 Great. It's great. 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 Very nervous because I have a lot of pressure. I want to have it too. And uh, I take my time. I just relax and I make a perfect shot and I 
very proud of my shot. <laughs> Making it? <laughs> Difficult. Just don't fall. No. One thing, if you're going to hunt Spain, the terrain is very challenging. Sure, there's a lot of ibex, and sometimes you can get shots not too far from the road. But if you're truly <laughs> seeking a monster ibex, it can require some great physical condition. The mountain and the terrain over in Spain are extremely steep. As you can see here from this footage, the mountains are straight up. There's a lot of loose rock and it can be dangerous at times. So you need to be in shape and you need to have some great boots when you're hunting Spain. We kept seeing uh, a lot of ibex. The one thing about this area is there are a ton of ibex. We've seen a lot. Uh, we had a couple opportunities this morning, but uh, every time the ibex saw us and uh, took off running. So we had only split second shots, which made it hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Made it very hard, but so what did you think of the fierce rifle? It was great. He did his job. He did his job. He did his job. Perfect. Congratulations. And as we saw, Melanie also shot one, so it's just up the hill here, a little higher. We got to climb a little higher, but uh, man, uh, we came to shoot ibex. All four of us have got ibex. Luke's <laughs> got two, so this is a very good trip. So Espadella. 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 Espadella here in Spain. You can't awesome. get any better. Hunting the mountains of Spain is hard. They're very steep, yeah, no rugged. One it was easy. No one said it was easy. That's right, Dory. Well, here we are with Melanie's beautiful ibex. What do you think of this hunt, Ux? I'm Oh, I'm very glad. I'm <laughs> very proud of Melanie. She made a perfect shot. Oh, yeah, huh? Nice shot, 300 yards. Yeah, very And nice. it's very difficult because it's a steep angle. It's very hard to get yeah. to get in a position where you can shoot. Yeah, yeah. It's not that very common good. position for So the girls made shoot. some great shots today, yeah. huh? Oh, yes. Very good. So A double today. We've only been here two days. Two days and we've killed uh, five ibex and five very good ibex. Exactly. What did you think of the hunt, Fontel? It was way fun. Awesome. A lot of fun. You made a great awesome. shot on yours earlier. And Melanie, <laughs> how was the experience? Uh, tough, huh? Climbing yeah. the mountain, yeah. Yeah. but uh, hiking. Beautiful animal and a very beautiful, beautiful animal. country. Yeah. Congratulations. And Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.